Then the Shadi was the Shadi. I'm drinking the rain. Thank you. Give me rain. Why rain is a blessing? So this month is a month of bucket of water. Do you know what's the difference between what's what's the job of a bucket of water? What's the job? What is the difference between a glass to bucket? A glass of water to a bucket of water. And the way that you use it. You need one hand of the glass, two hands of the bucket. You the phone? Yeah. The bucket is always uh, more heavy duty for the from a uh, from Almost, almost. What's the difference between a bucket and a glass? Glass is for one person. A glass job is to do what? Minimize the water so you can drink. A glass job is a, a glass job is to receive. Mainly to receive. The job of a class is always to prepare to receive selfishness. Because of that, when you get married, what do you do the first things after the weddings? Why are you breaking the class? Because you remind yourself, you know how much class is in Hebrew? You know how much class? The word class in Hebrew. How do you say class in Hebrew? Course. How much is course? A numerical number. Chav, Vav, Samech. Samech is 60. Chav is... 20. Vav is 6. 6 is 86. They have another word in Hebrew that is 86. What? Elohim. Elohim meaning the name of God that is judgment. Another word in Hebrew that is 86. Hateva. Nature. Nature is hey, that, bet, I, 86. What's the connection between all of them? You know what? When you get married, finally you have to break your nature. What's the nature of a human being? Always to receive. From now you break the glass that is a receiver. And you start to become a giver. Any person that got married know that the job of especially a husband, a woman always considered to be a receiver. A husband is a giver. Your job is to give and to give and to give. This is your purpose in this world. To give your wife, to help your wife. This is, we're going to speak about it. But this is your purpose in this world. Because of that and the weddings, you break the glass. Why? You break the nature of receiving. What's the job of a bucket, David? The bucket is not to drink. Bucket is to take and to deliver. Meaning to give others. You know what the zodiac of the Jews? To give. The purpose of every Jew is to give. This is our month. The month of the Jews. Somebody almost mentioned it. Moshe Rabbeinu, the last 36 days of his life, 37 days of his life, start from Rosh Chodesh Shabbat. Moshe Rabbeinu repeat the whole Torah for 37 days. What of which day Moshe Rabbeinu died? Zayin Adar, the seven days of Adar. Count 37 days before, which day is that? Rosh Chodesh Shabbat. And this month, Moshe Rabbeinu start to count the last 37 days of his life. And that days he gave Torah, he spoke, and he gave the last lectures, might be the longest lectures. So the first message of this month is a month of giving, not a month of receiving. This is the reason this is our, our job is to give, not to receive. All the purpose of receiving is in order that a person is coming into the Almighty God and said, make me rich. Why do they need to make you rich? Because I want to buy a house in Miami. I want to buy a house in Islam, Mexico. I want to buy three cars. I want to buy expensive watch. Mechila is not a good reason to come with God. It's because in this moment you become a, re a receiver. And to be a receiver, you have to have a lot of zechuyot. You have to be a tzaddik that God will open the gate to you. But... If you come into God and say, God, if you're going to make me rich, I will show my wife what a beautiful life it's all about. I'm going to spend money on my wife. I'm going to spend money on my children. I'm going to spend money on the yeshivot and the colonies and the synagogues. I will make sure I will become a giver. Not in promise, in reality. You're going to see that wealth will be going ahead of you like a bucket of water. You're going to get unlimited blessing. So as long as you become a receiver, a giver, you will never become a receiver.
This month is a month of a, a giver, not a receiver. A month of a bucket. The zodiac of this month is Gli. Gli meaning to take water from one place and to give it to another place. If this is so, no wonder why this month is the month of the Baba Sari, one of the greatest tzaddikim, one of the greatest holy people that came to the world, passed away. And that month, and Dalet, Dalet Shvat is tonight. What's the message of the Baba Sari? So first of all, I will tell you. The Baba Sari, two things I'm going to show you. First of all, everybody knows the secret and the story and the miracle. The Baba Sari used to put a cover. His bottle of wine, or especially Arak, was always covered. You know how many, how many cups you can bring? Four cups from one bottle. How many cups? Four cups, five, six, be generous, 500 people, 2,000 people passed through, and the Baba said it from one body. That one is, the, 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 you can see it in the video, that the Baba said never change your body. The same body, 500, 1,000 people, and he's pulling. When they asked the Baba said, what's the secret? The body was always covered. Anointing to be, and Abraha Shora. If you want to have a blessing in your life, make less bling bling, less noise. Modesty. Modesty is not always, is not only in the way that the woman is dressing. That this is very important. I will show you the story of modesty of the Baba Sari, you're not going to believe. But modesty also in the way that you behave. We have one million, we're going in to buy a house, we break it, we build it again. We skin that we are rich. We're doing everything to prove the world. And every event that we're doing have to be the best flowers, the best, nothing bad. But don't ask me why you have Ainara. Rabbi, I don't understand why we have Ainara, Negara. Because all you've been is to prove the whole world that you're rich and you're successful. You're sending pictures today, a company is going to a restaurant, they eat spaghetti, they take a selfie, we eat spaghetti. What do they care what you eat at the restaurant? Now the whole world have to be busy with spaghetti, spaghetti with tomato sauce, machloket, gmara rashi toshma. What do we care? You're going into a vacation? Some people do not have money to go to a vacation. And you spread the pictures all over the world to prove I was in the zoo and I was, if you want to shoot Torah, spread the pictures. A hundred percent. As many pictures. If you're going in to shoot Torah, to a synagogue, shacharit, mincha, spread. But what did they need to know that you going went into the beach, that you have your private villa, you had a swimming pool, all this nonsense. What is my business? Today we become so exposed that nothing is modesty anymore. Nothing is modesty. Ladies and gentlemen, the Baba said his teachers, it's nice, I told you that once, one of the people that I met is one of the richest guys, Beria and Arad, the most successful guys in Williamsburg. This guy, Beria and Arad, God bless him, is multimillionaires. I went into his house, outside of the house, horrible. He's in a building attached, looks so, I'm telling you, I was afraid to push the wall. Maybe the house is gonna fall down. Look like a poor man house. I went inside of the house. Wow, I opened the door. <laughs> Five floors, stairs, kitchen, fire, everything is brand new, beautiful. I told them, what exactly happened? Why you didn't fix the outside? Why, you, you finish the money? Listen to his answer. What is sensitivity is all about? He said, what my neighbor have to suffer that God made me rich? I don't need to fix the outside. Outside, why are we fixing? To prove the whole world, the whole world that we are rich. Do you need it for your life? No. What are you fixing? <coughs> to prove the others, uh, I success. He said, I'm not fixing outside. I'm fixing for my wife and my children. For the guests that